hey guys welcome back I'm here to bring you my final build video into the DLC and I think it's the one y'all been waiting on if not well sucks to be you it's a good one um first I'd like to apologize um, my other build videos were rushed um just a lot going on um I'm a, actually I'm ashamed of the quality I'm thinking about redoing them and all that um you can start to serve better and you know I'll go about finding a better way to do that in the future and um also there's not going to be any game plan in this video because I haven't you know been playing and I don't really want to disgrace this field which I love if you want to see gameplay there's plenty on my channel um what else uh, the Bloodborne's kind of dead right now. Earlier, I tried to get some matches, and you know, it's just full of OP people, which obviously I have no trouble killing. But for the obvious, um, the average player, I should say, sorry, it can be kind of difficult to do. Um, but I seem to do just fine. I just, you know, other than overpowered characters, everybody's moved on. And it's a shame because I actually love this game and literally used to play it every day. And I want to get back to playing it every day. But it's just uh, my other games, I have obligations because, you know, they promoted me to kill leader and blah 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 all of that I have responsibilities now you know have to recruit have to promote have to demo I have to go out and get materials have to just do a lot and then I have to build my character up to be the best because obviously I'm the guild master the king of all games but I want you guys to know I will be putting out bloodborne videos I'll probably have a montage up and running after I get some practice and it'll probably be this build because what can I say I love this build but um yeah let's get into the damn build all right um let's do stats first if I fumble over some keys or something it's because I really have just woke up put this in but I thought you know you guys deserve a video so I'm gonna give it to you and I'll explain some things along the way Alright, level. I went up 10 levels just because I feel the other 10 points are necessary with this OP meta that's going on. I mean, I went in here and like, these guys can basically one or two shot me, which always used to be the case, but not summon wise. And as you guys know, I'm not like, uh, I don't go looking for solo matches all that often because I don't feel that challenged. I like to get, you know, right into it and you know I'll fight two three whatever I'll come out on top not bragging but that's what I do so those extra 10 levels actually went into health because my vitality was at 40 but other than that by vitality right now is 50 I as an invader who fights multiples actually go searching out for multiples I feel 50 is needed but I if I people would go into my world or if I was doing one-on-one -on -one fights I would actually probably take that around to maybe 30 to 35 um, 30 might be a bit too much of a drop for some people but I would probably just do 30 life 30 vitality excuse me and I would move those points actually into blood tinge because but while there's extremely diminishing returns after 50 I think that you know extra 20 points in there 70 blood tinge would still be worth it especially doing 1v1s um the problem with that is I would only do that if you were going to PvP exclusively. Um, if you wanted to be a hybrid build, like all my builds are, I I go in PvP, PvE, and perform wonderfully either way. But you know, if you were, I mean, if you're going to do the PvE content, then I would probably wouldn't go down past 40 vitality. If you have the um, 
max HP plus 15% rune. But if you just PvPing with it, I probably take it down to 30 and put the other points in the blood tents. 20 endurance. I wish I had five more, but I do not go like going high in the levels. And you know, I run out when I'm trying to do some of my combos and things when I'm in the um, transform mode. But I feel. I mean, I'm good at managing my endurance for the most part, and it's only when I'm outnumbered that I run out, so I'm fine with that strength. I don't, I put one point in that, I think, and it's just because I didn't want to, there's nowhere else to put it, I mean, screwing around, I guess. Skill, 20, I would prefer it be at 25. I mean, if you... It's, I use the one hand mode a lot because you know people cry and whine and uh, it's always the Chikage is overpowered when it's really not. I think there's way more overpowered weapons in this game than that. But I tend to stay one handed. Also I like to parry so I only burst out the blood tins when and as necessary. But I would like skill to be at least at the soft cap 25. I actually should put that point from strength in the skill but uh, you can if you want or you're like I said if you only do single duels you can probably take five of those 20 points I suggest that you put in the blood tins and add them to the skill but me I just pump it all in the blood tins because most people and rightfully so use the blood tins mode form of the katana I mean where the business is at but you know I like to challenge myself um moving on um, I have the max stamina room that you can get 20% um with that I actually I actually just recently had got that not recently but recently that is when I was playing a lot so I actually wouldn't put anything into endurance because it you know the room basically bump me up 5% from the other room. I have the boost max HP percent by 15%. I mean, it's just crucial when you get summoned because of the nerf to the health and, you know, and I think everybody should have it. I actually think you should have two HP rooms, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. I have the third room is the visceral room because... Like I said, I would put an HP plus 10% rune here, but I'm pretty good at staying alive no matter what. So, I just, when I best attack somebody and I'm fighting multiple people, I want them to die and stay dead. I don't want them coming back and healing while my attention's on the other one or two players they're with. And, um, I work for the Queen, so, you know, we're in symbol to get the little blood tricks. All right get to the weapons. I have a Chikage plus 10, a Ryder Palash plus 10. Maxed out both 27% gems. Um, the Ryder Palash I do not use in PvE. That's why you got the beast negative there at like 78. But, you know, if you do use it, you might want to change those gems around. But I only use this in PvP as a backup weapon for, you know, uh, spammers or you know heavy weapon users if I can time them right it's just it's a very nice parry tool and back to big boy here the one I love my most favorite weapon in this entire game uh, Ludwig's is a very close second but I love the, the, the sword it's more of a um, marine type old school sword than a katana but Man, this thing gets the job done. As you can see, my attack right there with the gems. I'm just, I, it's just, it's just great, man. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, Evelyn plus ten, obviously the only blood tinge gun. You know, blood tins are they're tricky bills to play, man. I don't think they're as overpowered as everybody says. I mean. Yeah, a lot of people spam the guns and that can kill you, but that's not skill play. I mean, there's ways to avoid that, and I like the whole gun aspect of Bloodborne. I know people hate it, but it is what it is. And Hunter Pistol, because believe it or not, this is actually a 
better tool, better pair tool for me than uh, the Avalon, but I do just as fine with parries on the Avalon, but I would actually PvP, I might put this in place of the torch, but I fool around, so just lazy, I guess. I'd like to just keep the torch equipped for when I do PvE stuff and haven't put it in there. Ah, uh, the gear. This helmet. Um, nothing really special about the gear in Bloodborne. I'd actually be wearing this White Knight's wig if my character had white hair. Um, it, it, I don't know. I wear this. I wear this a lot in my older videos and it didn't just look right. It looked like it clashed with whatever was going on and that was that but you know it is what it is I switched this because this guy you know the best next best thing to, yeah, it matches what I'm wearing basically I'm a fashion person which brings me to this my favorite piece in the game I was even wearing this on my Ludwig's build but it just didn't look right without the Chicago and it just looked out of place wearing it and on this so but this is my favorite piece in the game I don't care about the stats or any of that I just like wearing it and I wear it a lot it's even on my new build which I'll get to later these just go right they don't clash and they don't cover up the arm pieces of the top I was talking about nothing special about them and these is actually I like how the white goes with the white in the costume and looks great and my buff items, I mean, these can only be used on the Rider Palacios. But, um, I feel it's necessary if you go PvP with the Rider Palacios only because it's, it's the only way to pump out a lot of damage with it. You need to kill things fast when they're over level. Um, obviously to buff the Evelyn. Um, really only use it when I'm outnumbered because it is, like, something I consider to make things way too strong. I don't think it needs a nerf or anything, but I just choose not to use it in single fights for the most part unless they're spamming heals. This is a little thing, the um, bombs that I'm getting used to using, rope mile times. Um, just for fun or just in case multiple people are chasing or something, I really was in the testing phase of this. And well, that's pretty much it for the build. Um, I'll come to you guys with another build soon. I know I said this was the last one before I... The DLC, but I am making another character just to test some things out. And, yeah, I'll have some PvP up for you guys soon. So, till next time, take it easy. Subscribe for more.